Well, we'll call our meeting to order. It's uh, 5.36 p.m. Um, everybody is, all the board members are present. Uh, we'll take a look at the minutes first from the December 11th meeting. Swenson moved to approve. Okay. There's a second for the approval of minutes. I'll second that, Mickelson. Uh, any further discussion? Further discussion? Further discussion? If none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, the motion carries. Um, the uh, old the story, old business was the uh, storage container review after adjustments. Did we? I haven't gotten it from the ER, so. Mm -hmm. And I don't have anything, so I think we're on hold with that. Yeah, so I'll get that um, And then the other item was what does and does not. Uh, require a building permit. Did we have a uh, sheet? We had a document, right? Yep. Yeah. Not a sample. Is it? Or that draft. Is yeah. it this one here? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, does everybody have theirs with them? I do not. Is it out on the. Uh, should be. Should be, but I can share here. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Well, let's just go through it. Let's take a, take a look at it uh, paragraph by paragraph. So let's start with our introduction there. I'm speaking on the right page. Should we? Yeah. yeah, that's the right page. You have yours? No. Yes, you saw it. It's not quite the same. So any uh, changes to the original uh, or to the paragraph, introductory paragraph? It's the same. This, this, is, the, this is the section that does not need a, right? Section 1. I would think these don't. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, it's they, just they, they, it's that's, the yeah. Because somebody made the. This is probably the original one. The first comment was, "Well, the link should be right away." And then somebody else commented, "Well, then they're not going to go through and read it, so they should have it at the end." So you guys decide how you. But everything else is the same. Well, that's probably a good idea. At the beginning or at the end? Well, I would think if we if we want them to participate and be involved and pay attention, it might be better to let them read through it and then get the link. Okay. Uh, so in section one, which does not require a permit. Um, is there anything that needs to be changed there? Um, installment of accent shelving cabinets. Um, any reason for that to be capitalized? <clears throat> no, but it's the same thing with drywall or paneling, patching. Yeah. I think that was a water heater replacement, new appliance. It's just, I, she, under the way some of that was formatted. 
okay. all of the. Mm -hmm. In fact, yeah, there's a number. If you're going to go down that road, you might as well fix them all. Yeah. Okay, I'll take care of that. Okay. The only thing I would, I mean, granted, this is just for the project, but. I would also advise them they still need to call 511. Yeah. Because. You mean 811? 811. Yeah, I'm sorry. And that call before you dig. Yeah, because mm -hmm. there's going to be a whole lot of. Because especially in that group. For screwing up something. Yeah, in this group, there's quite a few things that would okay. be. Yeah. yeah. No, no well, it's, but it's listed at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. on there. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Do we want to mention it both places? As long as it's on there. Okay. So section two looks like it's projects that require a permit. Correct. That you guys would approve. So a twenty five dollar to twenty five dollar only fee. That's elaborated on that sheet track. Like saying project. Projects require a building permit that planning is only will approve okay. twenty five dollars. Okay. Section three. Those are still approved by the commission. Section two. Section three. Section three would be projects that require a building permit. But approved by us. Approved by you, but it would be a hundred dollar fee because somebody's gonna have to come out and take a look at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a shed's coming in or Similar to that. Okay. Were we leaving? Were we leaving that standby generator on section two? That was that mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that what the pad already placed, or is that a? There's some <laughs> pad or. Well, most of those are relatively small, I suppose, if you poured a pad. My assumption was it was going to go next to the house. Mm -hmm. So that you wouldn't necessarily have to. That was just my assumption. It doesn't mean that that is what. Well, ideally, that's where it should mm -hmm. be. <coughs> well, so recently, the. People rolled the generator outside of the house and ran the cordon of the garage door, but they left the garage door open a gap. And it didn't turn out very well. No. Because it drifted into the house. So if it's if they're putting in a generator, I think it should not be right next to the house probably. Oh yeah, they so will. They, it, it, it's got to hook into your most of them are right got to inside. hook into your gas line yeah. and your and your main service and your main service. Mm -hmm. It go back like where your AC is probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it'd be all right. Relatively close to your panel. Light mm -hmm. goes right into the panel. So. Yeah. So no problems with the exhaust. No. Mine wouldn't. The pad yeah. ones wouldn't either because they're yeah. as long as they're external. Right. Which they would be. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that it would be impossible to put a generator, what, inside your garage and exhaust it to the outside? Yeah. Possibly. The yeah, but hospital I'm generator is the indoors <laughs> exhausted to the outside. I don't know where the the school's generator. Yeah, nobody in the house is, nobody for a house generator is going to put it in their garage. Yeah. 
No, not either. <laughs> okay. Section three was okay. <clears throat> Section four was going to be by, approved by the um, company. Section four would be, yep. So it's sent to Midwest, and you guys would have still approve it. And, the, and if we if we approve it, then it goes to Midwest, right? Either Midwest or White Sox. It goes to Midwest first. First. And then it would come, once they're complete, then it would come back to your... And that's a variable fee. Right. right. Yeah. Currently. That's based off that one. So do we want to, in this, <clears throat> do we want to specifically state Midwest inspections or do we want to change that language just to you know if we're thinking about possibly it'd be, yeah, I guess it'd be maybe we could just or, wide south or, or just or simply to some outside yeah I think service. you could just simply say to so the city's contracted I think you could put it as who it is mm -hmm. and then we update it as if, if, if there's, we do a, indeed if there's change. changes okay would be my suggestion that way it's right in there. They know who exactly who they're contacting. That's true because they make the contact themselves. Yeah. Okay. okay. So everything good? It should be. I don't know why that's a good Okay. okay uh, um, I don't know that this, I don't know that we've had anybody actually approach the city regarding this, but what about solar panels and things of that nature? Right. Do we have an ordinance at all for it? We don't, um, but it would still fall under any electrical because I think that is on there. Electrical work that adds more usage to the home. Or we could put in there. <coughs> or we have an ordinance for windmills. Probably. Not specifically. <coughs> That got to be a deal on happened in Wishick. Mm -hmm. Kind of on the edge of town, and they put this guy put up a wind, you know, for I don't know how big it was, but it mm. was big enough where I mean, there was really nothing saying come put it up. Well, it wasn't very quiet, mm -hmm. right? To the neighbors, and uh, you know, they they ended up where it ended up where he had to take it down. Maybe we ought to preempt that then. Yeah. So maybe we can move that to an agenda item and do a little bit of research on it before we. I think it's inevitable that somebody's going to. We have one that has four pounds on the roof of the house. Mm -hmm. It's not a bad idea. It's so or panels, well, that's different than a windmill. Right. That was the so first thing. That the came first up. thing came up was solar yeah, okay. panels, and then then that moved into the windmill discussion. Oh. <clears throat> well, I think both topics could probably be addressed. Yeah. Maybe we could get them into one section or something, but we should look at both of those issues. Well, the one thing about it is <coughs> we do have the airport that's fairly close that will trump. 90% of anything that goes up in the air over so many feet. After so many feet. And I don't remember what that was. Because we used to have that problem whenever for industrial builders, too. Uh -oh. Sometimes if we were even setting something with a crane, you know, it was too close to the airport. Mm -hmm. We have. But it was fairly... It's, 
I think it's four hundred or three. Well, that's why they have well, hard glass out there also. I think yeah. the hospital's tower is a uh, hundred to one hundred and fifty feet. Yeah, and I, th I think a home generator, home generating windmill, isn't going to be that tall. No, no. no. they're only they're only about forty or fifty feet. Mm -hmm. What's uh, Who's the burger that got one down Steinberg. by? Steinberg. Well, Steinberg. 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 Andy. Andy's. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a, a, that's a pretty good size Steinberg. one. Yeah. That's probably 100 feet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big one. <clears throat> I mean, these ones that did, it's got, well, the guy that wish he put it in, it was like a $12,000 one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, it wasn't you know, return on investment. Just, mm -hmm. 20 years, if not <laughs> longer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll have to set that up as an agenda item for both. Okay. So then uh, we had uh, uh, our next agenda item is discussion on changing and clarifying ordinances. What do you want to look at next? We need to finalize the. Well, should we? What requires a permit? Yeah, we could vote on those. Is this final? Final then? This uh, one I would send out one final one with it before you guys mm -hmm. switch whatever needs to be switched, and then no. I'll no, send it out. I would out. say this is just a guide. I mean, it's not every single situation that whatever. Yeah. So, do we want to vote to approve it? Or do you want to wait until we get the clean copy? I guess I'd want to approve as soon as we get the final draft. Based yeah. off the final draft. We'll can, there, I guess. And do we want to look at the alternative energy stuff and might put it in before we approve it? At this point, I would like to see some, this out, yeah. hopefully, by early, early spring, but I don't mm -hmm. think we have to have. I don't think we're going to have a ton of building permits in the next month. I, I would like to see us just approve it tonight and okay. be done with it. You could always... Yeah, yeah the grammar it. changes are insignificant. They're not going to alter the meaning. Of oh, absolutely thing. not. No. And so. We could add one item later, too. Right. Yeah. You could always add to this. This is not a... A final... It's not an ordinance. It's a... Mm -hmm. just a you, you weren't going to get a piece of granite and start on it? No. Okay. Uh, Leaf, do you want to make a motion? Yeah, so moved. Swenson. I'll second. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Post the same sign. Motion carries. Um, does everybody think that's Kind of what the next agenda item is there is figuring out what we want to look at next or um well and some of it goes down to like the next sheet the next one so you guys have some pens too mm -hmm. is what do you where do you want the pencils at and so we can officially move on an ordinance for that portion of it and then second is the, um, the property and stuff which Maybe you want to skip down and go to property lines. No, to White Seth. No. Okay. And make your recommendation what you want on that. Because that might change. So you did it. I did. So. Oh, okay. If you guys wanted to, if you want to move to that, that's fine. Otherwise, I would. What did you? Um, so these are the references that you got. Yep, those were the references that we had. I talked to him today, and the two that I sent him, if you guys remember, it was Anchor had a concrete pad they were just doing. I think it was valued at 10000 Yep. So we sent a couple of trial cases. Yep, I just sent two trial cases just to see what it would cost. Uh, so project value on that was 50000 for Anchor. 
And so that would put us at So fifty thousand would be it's five seventy four seventy five for the first fifty thousand, and then it's six twenty five for each additional thousand. So anchor would be five seventy four seventy five, and wide Seth, he said this is just approximate based on the value, but he's figured two hundred eighty six dollars. That's what Wide Seth would be? Wide Seth would be 286, Midwest was the, it's 575, I think it was a little bit more than that. I don't so, remember. So Midwest 575 for the first 50,000 and $6.25 for every $1,000 thereafter? Yep. And Wide Seth was half of that fundamental? Correct. Uh, so are we thinking to replace Midwest? Correct, if that's what you want to do. Funches was $100,000 building permit. That was the addition one, wasn't That it? was the addition. Yeah, she already paid the Midwest. Right, she already paid it, so we're not going to yeah. we change it. I'm, mm -hmm. We were just doing... Yeah. Um, and he said it was 887 Well, it's 887 plus another plan review fee which was forty percent. Another four hundred bucks. Yep. So it'd be twelve hundred I think is mm -hmm. what Funches was. And nine thirteen is what <laughs> that's Midwest what Midwest was. That's what Midwest would be the twelve hundred. Um, oh White okay. Sess would be nine thirteen is what they figured it would probably be. It varied depending on travel. If yeah, for, um, they could get five building permits and then they split the travel, so it's not. Somebody has to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Is that your little guy? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go to that pool meeting. Okay, I'll okay. see you later, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Um, and so he would split up. We'd have to work on the permit fees based on. He said, you know, he figured you'd do 768 for both, but it's up to us how we want to set the permit fees. It could be the same as whatever the cost is. That's what it's going to cost the resident. What, what do you mean by that? So it's, currently, we whatever. The only thing the city takes is twenty-five dollars, right. unless we, one of us goes out, then we charge seventy-five to go out and look at it. And then anything additional, anything that Midwest charges, we it it's a pass through. Yeah, it's a pass through. That's what. Mm -hmm. So Wyatt says that said, well, you could set your fees at seven sixty-eight. We didn't talk a whole lot on it, but we'd have to look at our permit fees of how we set them currently. Whether we set them at a specific fee or whether we have a pass through of this is what it costs you. But we, the city would pay wide set, the homeowner would not. Mm -hmm. But then we're on the hook to get paid for it. Correct. The homeowner. That's. Sometimes a problem. Sometimes, but we can put. Well, we can still put liens. We can put liens on the property. Yeah. I guess it's a horse and piece either way you look at it. But well, is we have some experience though with liens, <laughs> collecting water bills. But is it possible? Yeah, in the last couple of years. Yeah. Is, is, just talking out loud, which always gets me in trouble, but I'll do it anyway. Um, I mean, why is it not possible to make the building permit 
contingent on the payment of the fee. I mean, you just don't issue the building permit until the fee is paid. Correct. Yeah. Which we can't. You could. And, and that's kind of what we do. They, they come, come pick it up and they pay their building permit. Yeah. Fee. yeah. And if you can't pay for the building permit, maybe you shouldn't be Build, building. building. And just we, a thought. And we don't allow building permits unless they're current on their bills. So. Mm -hmm. so I think that's pr pretty much a non-issue if we just did it that way. I guess we could just review our building schedule or building prices according to wide sense prices. Do you think it's going to be a problem, though? I don't think people that are doing these fifty or a hundred thousand dollar additions are going to be a problem to no, no. get the fee paid. So no, you know to force them to do well, it they before they start. And pay it as soon as they drop. You know, I, I don't think we. I don't think right. personally. The only time you would where it might run into issues is Midwest. You know exactly what the fee is. They don't change it. Why it's a maybe they got to come out four times so they're. They say they already got their building permit, but mm. they're going to come out two or three times after that. And they'll charge it each time. And they'll charge us each time it won't show up. That's not so clean. Right. And the only reason I brought up paying, getting the permit paid beforehand was if we were starting to talk about liens and all that. Mm. That was why go to all that trouble. It can be easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just don't see it. Cut off the pass. I don't think we'll have an issue. I really don't. Mm -hmm. um, I keep jumping back and forth. It doesn't matter really which way you do it. It's as much as, I mean, when I first started on the commission, our disconnect list was this long for shutoffs. Hmm. We've got it down to 12 okay. at the current time. We've put some stuff into place. We've done a few things. We've gotten that list way down, which has helped it considerably. It's I think maybe we should just be a pass through. Let them just, pay yeah. the contractor instead of us. So we pay wide south instead of instead of paying us, us and then us paying. Yeah, I prefer to stay out of that. Because who knows how many times they're going to have to come in and. Yeah, but I don't know that wide south will do it that way. Yeah, because what you said earlier was that they wanted to be paid by the city. Because really? they're contracting through the city. Oh, they're providing the service for us. We would, I mean, the city would pay the bill. It's not, they, they would get paid. It's just us collecting. Mm -hmm. But it's not something that you guys need to worry about. It's just how do you want to set fees? Can you do that with Midwest now? We currently do that with Yeah. yeah. Well, that's, that's fine <clears throat> then. We can just tell them if, if there's more travel time included, we will pass the bill off. Did, uh, did Widsith uh, actually see our fees from, mm -hmm. that's the problem with kind of when you do contracting is that you can't give them the information about the previous contractor because. I didn't specifically get it to them, give them to them, but they knew they are able to find it. Yeah. And it's public knowledge, so we can't. Can't hide it. I, I really worked hard at trying to avoid them knowing what the other contractor was meaning. He didn't know what we, I mean, what specifically yeah. they were charged, but I didn't say this is what, I just gave them, gave them the building permit, this is what it was based on. Do we have a, a contract with the Midwest for right now, and how far does that extend? No. There is a contract. Too. Well, it's been, I'm looking at it right now. And I'll have, before we do anything, JR would yeah. I'd love to look. Well, I guess my thought on it is has there been complaints about Midwest at all? Well, the biggest thing that we heard was the price. Not bad. But, no. I just know, I just know, kind of. Uh, you know, they might be telling us they might be 900 on a project in Midwest of 1100. But I bet you in about a year they're probably going to be 
they're, yeah. they're, they're doing it, you know, they kind of putting your they, best they, foot they, forward, so to speak. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I guess I just don't really want to see us give it to Winseth when we when it's been Midwest has done a good job, and then all of a sudden, a year from now, their fees go up, and they're charging the same as Midwest, and, and we don't know it for sure if they're as good as Midwest. So you you did call a couple people about the, the company. Yeah, and they've been fine, and, and nobody's... They've done projects in town here. So. Yep. It's not a... I, I don't think that's an issue. It was... You know, I think it's it's yeah, good as a committee. We're struggling to try and make this as economical as we can. But ultimately, yeah. Well, if, to, if we switch and Kevin's hypothesis comes true, which it very well could, then too much business with other people, right? <laughs> yep. And then we're back to, oh, what do we go to the trouble of doing that for? And you know, there's always that. Well, what is so and so? There's always there's got to be somebody that's more reasonable out there. We can find somebody else. Or that was always what we, what I've heard. Well, we had somebody that looked into it. So now we. But each each of these contracts should be termed so that we have uh, an automatic point where we have to go back and request a couple proposals. It is in here. I was just trying to find it. I think we can terminate at any time. We just have to give notice. Well, if I'm a homeowner and I've got a hundred thousand dollar project and I'm paying Winseth, Winseth, seven hundred bucks for the initial inspection, but they have to come back four times. And those are contingent on, well, did they have anybody else doing a project in town, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know from my standpoint if I wouldn't just feel better knowing what the price was going to be at the outset for my inspection services. But Midwest still charges you if they come back. They do. If they have to come outside of... If it comes, um, if, if let's say you needed it done right now and you didn't give them notice on it, they're mm -hmm. gonna they're gonna charge extra per hour. It's one hundred and ten dollars per hour. Uh, so it's no different. So their fees aren't they're they're not completely fixed either, depending on what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. Generally, they'll tell you ahead of time what it is, but um, at the Midwest will not do, and that's specifically in here. Ninety days that we can give term uh, the contract. Um, so it's one year, and then it's one year every there year after, unless notice of termination. Oh, 90 days. Uh, um, inspecting electrical installation, inspecting plumbing, sewer and water installations, locating property boundaries, easement locations, provide floodplain documentation, inspecting and enforcing sitting zoning code or restrictive covenants or administering floodplain regulations. Where White Seth did tell us that they would do boundary lines, easement locations, and they will enforce if we ask them to. Something to be said for the boundary lines. And Would they be agreeable to just to start with just doing the boundary lines? I think they would do whatever. So I think that that's what people are concerned about right now. Is where the hell are my boundary lines? And yeah, I figured it out on my property, but who's to say that an engineer is going to say it's correct? 
And it's some place that people can go. I mean, we know if we use them as that to start with. And he could work up a fee schedule that says what it is or what they should be. I mean, that's something he said we could work with us. Because um, that's where he said permit fees could be set at 768. The city would see 286 for one bill and 913 for another bill. And it's going to be right around 768 for both. Mm -hmm. For those two projects, right? That were sampled, right? Yeah. You would say one. This one would be 768. This one is 768 based on the project mm -hmm. permit fees. One's going to pay a little bit more, but the city would be covered. Mm -hmm. Which I'm not looking at making money at this, so it's more of just covering what's going on and that was the whole point of putting that $25 fee in before was to help cover some of this which it doesn't it doesn't but it covers it more than it did so mm -hmm. are we uh, I don't see a consensus developing here right this minute and you don't need an answer tonight. Mm -hmm. So we'll move that on to... I just wanted to make sure before you went on to ordinances yeah. and stuff that you had this Well, in the back of your head whether what you wanted to do. I'd move that to Widset next to the February meeting of the commission. And I would uh, get to be more inclined to move down to Stormwater because uh, we're at close to 615 right now okay. so you want to see more permit what the projected permit fees could be yes. okay yeah. mm -hmm. I guess we don't want to make a wrong decision either nope I don't want you guys <laughs> we to, don't I don't want you to make a decision if you're not ready for it well I'll say one more thing just to throw it out there I'm you know new to all of this still um, I'm a little curious, you know, that I would have kind of assumed that we would have done building permits on a tiered basis. Like if my, if my project's $50,000, my permit fee is a certain percentage of that 50000 Maybe that's not the direction that we decided to that, ever go, but... It is for, that is for the way it is currently done for Midwest. Yes. Okay, so it's... I mean, it's passed through. It's but it's tiered. Midwest expenses plus twenty five dollars, right? And it's tiered based off of them, right? Okay. But I mean, in the situation we talked about, where when we had two building permits, and we were going to equalize the fees across those, it would be tiered on that. He's saying we'd tier it as well. Mm -hmm. It's just figuring out how we would set it. What he's saying is Midwest says this is what it is where we they get paid the same they get paid based off of whatever it is mm -hmm. where Midwest takes everything let's say you know it's uh, we're charging what Midwest says so it's 575 for the first 50,000 for the first 50,000 and then the other one is uh, 887 well, we would Midwest Midwest would take all of that, mm -hmm. where. Um, Do you think we should tier it on our side, also? Where wide Seth would be, we would take in. Would be nine plus six is fifteen hundred, and they would charge us. Twelve hundred. Oh, I see. So we'll get three hundred dollars extra for that. Mm -hmm. So we could then possibly do away with the twenty-five dollar fees because we'd see some other yeah other right return. Right. Maybe we should do that. It made, it makes more logical sense. But. That's what most cities do, but mm -hmm. being that we went with Midwest, we weren't taking anything in on these permits, mm -hmm. so how do we 
How do you start now? And what it was coming up with was, okay, Midwest fees are $70 for the first two $2,000. So people were like, well, I'm just putting in this, and it cost me 70 bucks. Well, that's where we said, okay, we're not going to send them to Midwest. We'll just, you guys approve them here. They're small enough. Mm -hmm. It's $25 for this. Because mm -hmm. before, it was a $5 permit. But we weren't make we got the fence. Yeah. Yeah, I seem to remember the first permit I was like five bucks and then it was like twenty five bucks. So what happened here? Yeah. That's what happened is what we realized that we needed to change. Yeah, and twenty five dollars still and it just seems well I will I'll stop the discussion because Bruce wants to go to Stormwood. <laughs> we'll postpone discussion till next. Well, I just, I had this only about an hour long meeting. So. Yeah, no, that's fair. But I'll see what, I'll work with um, Kate and see if we can come up with a proposed fee schedule that they would work with. Yeah. And okay. make it work. Well, we have something to compare to. Right. On the, uh, so we'll take the remaining, remaining of that. On the stormwater plan, the city got a no from the county. Oh, really? To shift water onto the courthouse grounds. Mm, yes and no. Or was a soft no? Or I am. According to the banner, I was supposed to get a phone call. I have yet to have any right. communication. So okay. um, there was a plan that came in after the fact. So what I was told when I called and talked to um, your neighbor. My neighbor? Yeah. Well, he lives down the street from you. Tom. Tom. When I talked to Tom was... Bobby Hepper Olson was doing the planning for this parking lot. And so they were going to... I said, okay. So we said, Bobby, the information through our, Steve, our engineers. They came up with... Alternatives. Soft no. <laughs> do we have the map on this thing? I do here. I was just going to pull up the. Steve actually has the. So here's the two exhibits that he sent. This is the current plan that they want to do. Um, this would be the area that we're proposed to put that surge pond in. Um, it sounded like this was going to be later usage, but this would be all coming in. Exhibit B is the alternative that we, because we talked about, okay, we could put angle parking in on that side of the street and still get some in. Um, so this yellow would be the proposed surge pond area. There's some, well, there's 16 stalls there, 5 stalls here, and 18 here. And they were looking at parking total of 40, 45. And there is another 8, 16 there. So 18 plus 16 plus 8 plus 5 gets them pretty close to what they were looking for. Yeah, well, so that's pretty even. But Tom brought it up at the meeting before any of this got done. How many parts of town do we need to try to create these ponds? A few. Three. So, loyal. One is in the school proposed, the part where the school owns. County shed. One was over here, and the other one is over by the softball field. Yeah. This storm area covers... 
these are the little it's all of this and part of this part of town. Goes to the courthouse. Goes to the courthouse. Because all of this drains and then it comes here and then goes into the river. All of this goes into what be here. And this kind of got pushed up because the county said we're going to do parking. Well, it's not that we're going to put a storm a surge pond in right away, but it's one of those things that we needed to look at as we move forward. Over by the uh, South Blue Complex. And we looked. Is that is that going to... We're going to need some of that property back from, what's his name, where the trees are? No. This this is the proposed areas in here. Oh. That's for Bonnie well, They Mantis. first said right here, we're hoping maybe by the substation, because that's, it's alkaline there anyways, mm -hmm. that would be the best place. There's water that lays there, so let's put it in. But we have some work to do on that. We also looked in this area. You know, the, the trailer court is here, and then there's a couple open areas in here if it would be big enough to put it in. And they said without putting more or extensive piping in or lift station, we wouldn't be able to get everything, everything or the elevations in there. We could do away with the with this, but then we got to put that 86 inch line under first, under first street. Yeah. So after our meeting on Tuesday, I'll see what the commission says. And we, I may have to go to the county commission and say, this is the proposed plans. We are willing to, unfortunately, the commission meeting, county commission is before the City Commission, because we meet on Tuesday, because it's Martin Luther King Day. So we'll, Two it'll Tuesdays be, in a row. it'll be February before I can go to the County Commission and say, here's the plan, here's what the city is willing to do. But we had talked about, you know, that was the alternative was, can we put angle parking in there? And it is wide enough there that they can make it work, so. Mm -hmm. So the city or the county needs how many more parking places? Their concern is, is that they're running out of parking and they're having to park on the street at the bank. Because now with Dakota Heritage, there's more parking there, more people parking there. So it's there. necessary most of the time. Right. That street. Yeah. It's a little bit narrow, too, I right. think. If you park them at people on both sides of the street, it's right. Tight. So, which, this may be something that we would have to look at anyways, but it, part of it is taking out that boulevard, and then, and there's a few things in there that, but the dry pond isn't, I mean, normally it's going to be grass, it's just when you have that high rate event. Mm-hmm. And it's not deep, that's the whole point. It's a bigger area, but it's low. It's a gradual. So it still could be used as a regular. Yeah. The other option that we, that AE2S said we could do, I mean, it's more expensive, is you put it underground storage. And then you put the parking over top of it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, considerably more expensive. Yeah. But it's still cheaper than putting an 84 inch. Well, yeah. <laughs> apparently. So. Hmm. But everything on the east side of 81, you know, could could the ditch around the city on both sides be expanded so that all of everything east of 81 could drain to the East. So, um, north of Third. Because you don't do that, and if you did it that way, then you would think that it would, but it doesn't dream like you think it does. 
So this is currently on a hundred year flood. This is where the water goes. So this is a majority of the water on this hundred year flood comes on Second Street. That's why we proposed it mm -hmm. here. Because what's happening is the water comes down. It either goes this way or it goes this way. And so you have all of this feeding. You have all of this feeding. This is supposed to go, this water goes this way. But even on 6th Street, you can see the, where the arrows are on the ditches. And that's the direction the water flows. Okay. Hmm. So from this water actually comes here and then this way. This water goes this way. So it's kind of deceiving of what you actually think it is. Mm-hmm. Willis, I know it's a big game for putting one here. <laughs> they want all that now? Which this is going to compound it too, which we factored that in. We told them that. We don't know what the parking lot's going to We may end up having to put something in here, to pr which it may not be us. It may have to be somebody else. It may have to be these residents. Cause yeah. This is going to be get flooded too. Oh, that thing floods every year. Yep. That first house. Especially now that the Valley Plains has they put it in up. as a parking lot. Well, you're not getting that now. Instead of the water going into the ground, it's, it's all running off. off. Yeah. Yeah. And the same thing with the school. We early on we said if they're going to do anything, you're going to have to look at a retention pond or somewhere to keep that water because mm -hmm. all of this is not. It's got to go somewhere. There'd be plenty of room over there, though, for that one. Depends on how big they're going to build, and there's a lot of planning that needs to go. And that was part of this, is why I pushed this, was without this, we're just throwing a dart at the wall. And yeah. Yeah. Can't prepare for the future. For sure. And all this water that comes to the side of the substation goes all the way around on the outside of town. And they said, you know, without putting in lift stations and everything else to get the water, and we'd have, there's just, there's not the elevation. So the best option is just hold the water, let everything else get out, and then once it goes down, you can release it. Is that on a weird system, or how does that? How do you retain that? I think it's a one-way, oh, one-way, one-way valve. That, thing so right. if there's water on that side, the pressure is going to hold it from the back up. <laughs> but this is. That's showing water, this is showing how much it's going to go over. So red is deeper. Uh huh. Red is bad. Red it's is bad. bad. I thought I had sent them to you, but maybe I, I scanned I think them, but I forgot that maybe you sent them. I don't know. I think I've no. seen I've seen them, but uh, we well, yeah, had them here. Yeah, we looked at them thing. here. But I just yeah. didn't have digital copies, so I had to scan them. In. I had to find a scanner big enough to do eleven by seventeen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do have a large format scanner at the plant. We need to. We have one at school. I just had to do it. Well, any any new business? Any permits? No permits. Permit. They make it complicated or not, they'll just quit. <laughs> or just not even apply for a summer. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, if there's no further business. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Is there a second for that? I'll second. Okay. Alrighty, we're adjourned at 6.30 p.m. We actually could have met for six more minutes. We could have. Yeah. We didn't circle five thirty.